This week's edition of Church Media Design TV is brought to you by worshiphousemedia.com and dansinkandtoner.com. Ooh, we have a new sponsor. Welcome to another edition of Church Media Design TV, tips, tricks, and how to for you, the church media designer. I'm your host, Brad Zimmerman, and joined with me is some guys that aren't as pitiful as Michigan football. Yes, you have it right. We have Dwight Schrute, Colonel Sanders, Little Whitey, and of course, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord Most High. Well, on this week's edition, we're not going to be talking about how pitiful the Wolverines are this year and why I don't even watch their games anymore. But we will be talking about YouTube and how to save out those videos a way better way than the sad days of Zamzar, as well as some inspiration and, yes, you heard it right before, we have a new sponsor with a great deal for you. So um, stay tuned and uh, if the three wise men of Jesus are ready, let's get into it. This week's first news story comes from wingclips.com. And wingclips, again, if you don't remember, is um, movie clips that you can use in your church that have been licensed specifically for use in the church. So you don't have to worry about copyright violation or any of that kind of stuff. So you can check that out at wingclips.com and find out about all the tons and tons of movies that you can get. And they have a free service and a premium service, but you can download clips in both and use them there. Um, I actually got this t-shirt from Mitch, um, who runs Wing Clips. Um, He had the booth next to mine at Echo Conference, and I got to know him uh, pretty well throughout the, the time at Echo. And while we were there, he was telling about Wing Clip Cinema. Now, Wing Clip Cinema is uh, viewing uh, feature length films in your church. So you can bring in a, a full movie, air that on your screens at church, um, and they'll give you all like resources for invitations as well as follow up stuff with study guides. And what is releasing on the 21st of October, so it just released a little while ago, is Expelled, which is a movie with Ben Stein uh, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and, of course, Win Ben Stein's Money, everyone's favorite game. Um, And it's a movie about creationism in the classroom, and it's a great movie for conversation. And I'm actually supposed to have a fifth bobblehead on my desk right now, but the U.S. Postal Service, bless their souls, um, lost it. And so I'm going to lose it and go postal on them. Um, no, I'm going to uh, start using uh, you. UPS because the U.S. Postal Service, well, they lost my bobblehead and now I'm not mad. So um, anyway, check out Wing Clip Cinema um, and you can sign your church up to host an event uh, viewing Expelled as well as a couple other movies that they have. And there's going to be more coming down in the future. The other thing is our good old friends over at Relevant Magazine um, and RelevantMagazine.com and the Relevant Podcast and everything else. Well, they have Relevant TV and they've had it for a while, but they just relaunched it actually today. Um, The evening of taping this show, October 21st, uh, they launched the new Relevant TV and they are, um, it's in HD and it's viewing uh, Hillsong United's new DVD with Hearts as One, I think part two, um, is a social justice um, slash uh, worship film. It's a two disc documentary. It's over two hours worth of footage, and they're airing it live uh, from the 21st to the 23rd, so most likely you didn't watch it unless you were following me on Twitter or Cameron Strang on Twitter and saw that it was um, airing. So you can follow me up, twitter.com slash cmdtv, to find out those kind of updates when I can't tell you on the show. So um, it's really cool. It's now all in HD, and it has the same on-demand features, so you can watch videos. But now it's streaming, so there's no progressive download, so all of your stuff should um, stream in a lot faster. So make sure to check out Relevant TV and Wing Clip Cinema. Well, this week we're going to kind of go back to a subject that we've hit in the past. We're going to talk about how to get YouTube videos. Now, I know know a lot of youth ministries and even on Sunday mornings, a lot of churches um, will rip a uh, YouTube video to use as a sermon illustration or you'll find movie clips on there or something that usually most likely isn't legal, but 
whatever. I'm not talking about that. Today I'm talking about how to actually do it. Because I'm gonna empower you guys to steal. I didn't really say that, but that's basically what we're doing right now. Well, anyway, I saw a lot of stuff come through Google Reader in a couple days about this same um, tip. And a couple people have figured out since, and the reasoning behind this whole thing is since um, YouTube and Apple hooked up to put YouTube on the iPhone, they needed to start putting those YouTube videos in uh, MPEG-4 so it could be viewed on the iPhone because there's no flash player on the iPhone. And the flash player already can handle MPEG-4 files. So um, it wasn't too big of a deal because you can still watch an MPEG-4 file inside a flash player. Well, what some people figured out is you can actually tell YouTube to reload the page and show a high quality version of it in QuickTime. And if you go over to joeyhagedorn.com, um, um, he's got a post on uh, YouTube in MP4 via QuickTime plugin. And he's basically talking about how he saw this on somebody else's post. But then he says, um, you know, this is great if you want to download the video. But I dislike Flash in general, so I'd, I'd rather not even watch an embedded version to begin with. So he's ridiculous enough to say he doesn't like Flash in general and he doesn't want to see the YouTube Flash player and he only wants to see QuickTime, which I think is dumb. But anyway, so he gives this little bookmarklet. So we're going to just drag this guy right up to our Convert with Zamzar button. And then we're going to go over to YouTube. And I've pulled up uh, the real Sarah Palin on SNL and our little uh, rap with our fav favorite people. And you can see how it's playing here and all this kind of stuff. Well, if we click on the Q YouTube button, it's gonna reload this page a second, and it's gonna reload it with a QuickTime version of it. Now, the cool thing is a lot of times the quality is way better. Not only audio, but video is way better too because it's loading in the full quality version. Also, it's gonna load in the right aspect ratio. And then the best part of it all is down in the corner here, once your video has been loaded, you can do save as source and you can save out this QuickTime movie if you have QuickTime Pro. Um, so you need to make sure you have QuickTime Pro to do that, but you can save out that QuickTime movie um, and then you can convert it or if you're using like ProPresenter or um, iWorship, I think is the name of the other Mac worship software, um, you can just bring that MPEG-4 file right in there. If not, you can convert that in QuickTime to an AVI or another file that will play inside Media Shout or Easy Worship or any of the other programs. But it's really cool that you can go in and just convert these things so fast. I mean, it's a one click and then a save and you're done. None of this giving it to Zamzar, giving them your email address, having them send it to you. So. Goodbye to Zamzar. We don't need you anymore. I'm sorry. We found bigger and better things. So um, that's how you do that. Next, we're going to talk about a little issue that I ran into this week. I had a little problem. I was working on a website and pages just weren't loading correctly. Now, the problem that I ran into was a PHP caching issue. And so if you head over to the W3C schools, you'll see information about the header function. And if you scroll down and look at example one, you'll see something about preventing page caching. Now, if you don't know what caching is, and we're talking about web stuff, and we're actually gonna start talking about more web things in the future. This was kind of just a random little tip that I ran into that I wanted to share with you guys. But caching basically is the browser's trying to make your web ex experience perfect. So it says, I'm gonna save all this stuff locally so that if you go back to that page, I don't have to re-download that image. I can just pop it up real fast for you. Well, the problem is, what if I update that photo or what if I update that file? Well, by default, Internet Explorer does this way too much. It caches files it shouldn't be caching. And so what it was doing is it was caching a PHP file, which was pulling information from my database. And so it was pulling it once, and then every time I would, like, in code say, okay, run this script part of that PHP file, it wouldn't do anything, and it wouldn't reload the information. Well, the way to fix that is to not allow that PHP file to be cached. And this is how you do it. You set your... Um, you set that it expires a long time ago, like way in the past, 1997. And then you also set your cache control to no cache and um, your uh, prog 
pragma to no cache as well. And you just need to put this in the header information for your PHP file or on any pages that contain PHP information. So um, this is just a little tip for you. And I know PHP is kind of like jumping way ahead, but it was just something I wanted to share with you guys. If you have any specific website questions, so how do I do this in WordPress? Or what do I do with this styling thing with CSS? Or how do I do this kind of animation in Flash or action scripting inside Flash? Please email those questions in. I love hearing that you guys want to do more with HTML and, and web stuff, but I need to know a little bit more specific of what you guys want to learn because there's so much stuff that I could show you guys, but I want to narrow it down and really hit what you guys are dealing with and trying to use. So um, you guys can send those emails, brad at churchmediadesign.tv or just leave me a message on Twitter or Facebook or any of the other ways. I check them all. So um, leave them there and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I think I'm finally caught up with emails, which is so great. Um, so there's a couple tips for you guys for this week and hopefully they'll come in handy as you uh, need to download videos for your church or as you're coding websites. Well, this week's inspiration comes in form of some videos that you should go find on YouTube and save via that whole QuickTime conversion thing we just showed you. Now, these videos are a um, really cool type of video. They're called Kinetic Typography, and this is actually a suggestion somebody left on Twitter. Um, and these videos are typography-based, so it's all text being animated and it gets animated. So if it has, if the word means, I don't know if you've ever seen Word World, if you have any uh, young children around the house, you would know what I'm talking about. But it's kind of like that, but not really the same. But anyway, uh, it's typography in motion and it's really cool. A lot of times it has uh, little icons, but more often than not, um, it's just text being animated. So the first video is the hush sound lion's roar. And this video is really cool. I'll just play a quick um, clip of this. And as you can see, there's like, you know, little flames and different stuff going on. But it's it's got a really, really cool feel. And um, I really like it. So let's just watch it. Trumpet, trumpet. Delicate dame. Anyway, so that's that's that one. And another one that I would suggest checking out, I can't even pronounce it, but I'll have a link to it. And it's uh, the Spanish um, band, and I don't know Spanish, so I'm not going to say anything about it. But basically, it's really, really cool. It's got... Um, uh, it's got some live action green screen footage that was put in along with the typography. And so it does some really, really cool stuff. They did a really amazing job. Uh, MK12 started doing this a while ago and a lot of people have based what they do off of what uh, MK12 did. Um, they're the people who did uh, Stranger Than Fiction as we talked about a long time ago. But they did some really, really sweet stuff. And as you can tell, the song's really cool. Um, so I would encourage you guys to check out these videos as well as look in the related videos on these pages. There's a whole ton more. I will say a lot of people do movie ones that maybe contain a lot of swearing in it. So if you're offended by that, don't go looking through the videos. But I'll just give you that fair warning that, you know, maybe more often than not, people choose movies that have ridiculous scenes and do typography to the words in those scenes. So um, check out some kinetic typography videos on YouTube and download them and let them inspire you on a next video project you might do at your church. Well, we want to say thank you to our sponsors of worshiphousemedia.com resources for their creative church. You can head over to their website and use our promo code of CMDTV1 and get 25% off your order. Now, there's tons of great videos there and some free stuff, and they're always adding new things. So make sure to check out those videos and get 25% off. The big new news is we have a new sponsor, and this is dansinkandtoner.com. Now, Dance and Toner is a wholesale toner uh, business that you can, for your church, and we actually use this at our church, and we started buying toner from Dan, and we get our toner for about half the price that we used to spend. So we've cut our toner budget in half, and so 
if your church is like mine, we don't have any money anymore and uh, the economy sucks and it's really great, but we're going to trust in God and we're going to do smart things like, well, buy cheap toner. So if you head over to danzinkandtoner.com slash wholesale, you'll find out more information about the wholesale program. And if you mention uh, church media design when you sign up to find out more information, you'll get your first three months free trial, which basically means you get all of your uh, ink and toner when you order at cost with free shipping. And so you'll be able to test out the product and get all of your toner at cost. And then after that three months, if you decide to stay with it, um, you just sign up for a yearly subscription and you get all of your toner at cost. So it's a great deal. It can save you guys a lot of money. So I'd really encourage you to check it out. You can get OEM toner. You can get all the stuff you need. I mean, we get stuff for our color, um, like weird Gestetner printer that we use as well, down to our little HP that you can buy at Staples. So he's got everything you need. So um, check out danzinkandtoner.com slash wholesale to find out more information about that program. So... Um, that's a word from our sponsors. Well, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Church Media Design TV. Now, I've been getting a lot of great feedback from a lot of people who are just tuning in for their first few episodes, and we're so grateful to have you guys part of the viewing audience and the family of Church Media Designers. And some of you guys are from all over the world. It's been really cool. We keep finding out about more people from Australia and New Zealand and Brazil and Rio and all these different places. So thank you to our international audience. We know that the church is bigger than the United States. It's bigger than Caucasians. It's bigger than English. It's a global thing. God cares about all people. And so we want to make sure we're a resource to all of you guys. Unfortunately, I only know English. Um, so... Yeah, maybe we'll get a translator on one of these episodes. Maybe when Ben moves back from Honduras, we'll do it in Spanish. Me amo whitey. Anyway, so thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions or comments about the show, please make sure to send them in. We want to get feedback from you guys about what you think about the show as well as questions you have and things that you're dealing with on a weekly basis. You can send those in to brad at churchmediadesign.tv or leave a comment on the message board on the website. Now, also, you can sign up on, uh, you can send in stuff via Twitter, and we're posting always during the show. And Adam actually got his own Twitter account, and so you can friend him up on Twitter, uh, and his name is Adam CMD TV. So find Adam CMD TV and give him lots of crap, because um, that'd be funny. Uh, so you can find us on there as well as the green screen contest is still going on and make sure you guys are doing this. Uh, we have the footage online and if you guys saw that uh, episode that came in right before this one at the end of the week about uh, the green screen rules and all that stuff, you can go view that. It's just called CMD green screen contest and the little drop down list of episodes on the website or you'll see it in your podcast feed and that has all the information about the contest and I really got, want you guys to sign up for this. You can win yourself a free green screen. Uh, we'll send you the fabric all ready to go and give you a gift card to buy your pipe and drape to put it together. And it'll be great and you can start doing green screening. So um, all of the footage is up on the website as well as audio and um, images to make that video with. So make sure you guys sign up for that. And look forward to next week. We're going to be talking about Photoshop and how to do some selections in there. So um, hopefully you guys are ready to learn some Photoshop. We haven't been there in there for a while. So um, as for me and the three wise men in Jesus, we're saying see you later. Adam, shut up. I need to do my work. <laughs> you twittering yet? Shh. Stop laughing. We're not allowed to have fun here. Sorry. Sorry. Adam, are you twittering this? Adam, Twitter this.